Hey, what's going on, Internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a quick tutorial today, but since we might be working on holiday type projects like for Christmas or anything that has to do with winter, we might need to create a project that is oriented to the time. So in this tutorial, I want to quickly look at how we can easily create snow particles. So let's go over here to our composition. All I have in here is the background. So what you need to do is you need to Google an image of a snowflake PNG so you can incorporate it into the project. So we have this one right here. And when you have it downloaded into After Effects, go ahead and bring the snowflake layer into our composition here. Anyway, we'll come here. It doesn't matter how big it is. Go ahead and just hide that layer. Go up to Layer New Solid. And we can call this Layer Snow. Click OK. Make sure it's a uh, comp size and then click OK. Go up to Effect Simulation CC Particle World. And we have a particle system in here. We can move this layer over a little bit. So we can already have our particles in here by default. And what we want to do in here is go straight to the particle. And I want to set the particle type to a textured disk. Okay, and then underneath the texture property, which is underneath the particle type, you can open up this uh, drop down and we come to the texture layer and we can set this to the snowflake layer. And we'll be able to see that we have our snowflakes in here and we're able to work with this. So what we need to do is we need to change the birth and death color here, of course, because snowflakes are not supposed to be that color. We can set these both to white if you want or to like a light blue, whatever that works for your project. And now we have the snowflakes in here and we can start working with this and making this look like it's going to snow. To start crafting more of a realistic snow scene, what I want to do is go up to the producer and I want to increase the radius X to go across our composition and also the radius Y. And then I want to increase the birth rate here to maybe 15, maybe a little bit more. We'll see how far we'll go into this as we continue to work with it. So now we'll set the longevity to about 11. Okay, and then we'll go back to the particle type. Maybe we'll set the max opacity to 100%. And I want to come into the birth size and set this to 0 0.08 and also the death size to 0 0.08 as well. And actually that's a seven. It doesn't really matter. Also what I want to do is go to the radius Z at the top and I really want to bring this forward. So we render a quick preview here. This is very unrealistic. It's moving really fast and we can't even tell what's happening. So, and let's go into the physics and let's finish this up. So let's go to the animation and set this to twirl so we can have a little bit more of a dynamic sway to it. And I want to come here to the gravity and I want to set this down to like 0 0.01. And that's going to slow things down by a lot and give us a lot more particles to work with. I also going to want to set the uh, extra angle to zero real quick. And we just take a quick look here. We have all these, uh, you know, snow particles kind of flying towards us, which is really nice. So if you want to, you know, stop this effect here, we could do that. But I want to set the velocity down to 0 0.05. So I kind of just want these snow particles just to fall straight down to the ground. And we have a quick, like, 14 frame render here. You can see that the snow just keeps falling down. And it looks really nice. And if you want to add more of a more of a twist to it, go ahead and check out the extra angle here. And that'll kind of make it, you know, fly side to side just by a little bit, adding that actual twirl into uh, the snow animation. So this looks pretty good. And what I want to do to make this even a little bit more stylistic is I want to add some blurs to the edges here. So what we can do to make that look nice is go up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And we can come over here, grab the Ellipse Tool, double click it here at the top, and set the mask to subtract. And then hit F on your keyboard for Feather. And just feather this out to like 300. And then go up to Effect. Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. And we come over here and we can increase the blurriness to maybe about 20, repeat edge pixels. So now we have this nice blurriness on the edges. And of course, we can hit MM on our keyboard for uh, all the mask properties. And we can decrease the mask expansion by a touch so we can make this mask even a little bit larger. And now we have more of a central focus. And by doing this, if we have text or any sort of vector object or a logo, we're able to create the emphasis around our area of focus right here in the center with this blur. So this is a cool way to help composite this within whatever we're trying to do. So, and after a quick render, here is our snow falling down. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.